Hello everyone, Bazooka here, and welcome back to some Total War Arena. Uh, looks like we're gonna be back on Germania, and uh, yeah, again, I'm gonna have the same setup, uh, playing a Scipio, as you know, is my favorite general. A lot of Germanicus generals, and on the other team, they have a lot of Alexanders, which is something that I, that I notice. We've got three Scipios, actually, and they have three Alexanders. So, sh there should be a little bit more Cav than the previous battle that I played on Germania. And also, I'm starting on the opposite side of the map this time. So, uh, that's cool. But, you know, Germania is not the best map for Cavalry, definitely. Which is something that I like about it because I feel like Cavalry is just a little bit overpowered um, on the more open maps. Especially, like, Thermopylae or the other one. I don't know their names. I'm just so bad at remembering the map names. I don't know why, why that is, but whatever. All right. Um, looks like we've only got two people with Gav, and uh, this guy picked Spearman, which is weird because I'm not sure exactly how you're going to use, like, Spearman when you're playing a Scipio, but whatever. It's an odd choice. Got some artillery as well, which is cool. This guy picked an artillery unit. That, that's actually something that I like. That's not too bad. Capture the enemy base or kill all enemy all right. Okay, sounds good. Look at all these forests, man. I, I'm not going to do great on this map. I just know it because it, it's not a cap map. It's got a lot of hills and forests. It's exactly what you don't want when you're playing as cab. Should be the other Scipio with a... Three spearman. That's a really odd choice, by the way. Well, said it already, but just wanna point it out once again. I don't know. Like, look at his abilities. They're all cavalry abilities. Like, if you want like an infantry charge ability, then you gotta pick Germanicus. The war cry, I guess, is alright for spearman. In oath of perseverance, could be pretty cool too. But you have two abilities that you can use when you have. Uh, like melee units and uh, if you were playing as Germanicus you would have had three in fact you would have had three playing as you know any other general whereas here this one's basically useless unless you're using cap so uh, I, don't, I don't know I've never tried it I don't know if it actually works on like infantry units but I don't know it shouldn't because it's called cavalry charge and there is an infantry charge ability as well but it's a Germanicus ability. Anyways, let's see here. Again, I, I want to try and be a little bit more passive. I don't want to engage too early. They're just, you know, we're exchanging some artillery shots by the looks of it. And, uh, yeah. This guy's not shooting at all. He's deployed, but he's not shooting. There's a good target. Let's see if this guy's actually going to go for the uh for the artil artillery which could be kind of bad if he does but it's just one cap unit i don't know i'm just gonna stay again defensively and you know try and be helpful that way i don't know what these points are that's uh total number of allied points all right so that's a new thing there was a patch a couple of days ago i didn't read the email i usually read them but i think i i didn't read the last two which was not great Oh, those guys are gonna get caught and completely destroy that. That's really stupid. Why would you go there with your skirmish units? Although, there are gonna be some nice kills there on the cap, but apparently the uh, artillery are not getting the best line of sight, so it's not gonna be that great after all. Alright, um, I really want to join the fight and actually do something and not just camp like that. Uh, that seems like a good engagement there. Let's actually start advancing on this side because we're actually doing pretty alright. We've destroyed a few units. Barely any losses. We're 200 men ahead, which is good. And uh, we've got a little bit more points. Oh, wait. What's going on? Where's my cab? Oh, they're getting shot by artillery. Well, they're just artillery like close to us, apparently. But we didn't get shot, which is always good. Now there is a uh, there are, there are a few good targets here, those skirmishers, and now they're gonna start running, and let me try and chase them actually. Let me try and uh, chase some of them at least. I lost one of them, but hey, it's fine. 
I lost track of them. These ones here should be able to get a pretty clean charge, unless they just die before I'm able to get there. Let's get the cavalry charge. Hopefully no scary units around. And that should be a pretty easy kill there. Uh, we're chasing those guys too. They're shooting me with artillery. I suffered some losses, so... Oh, no, don't do that! Why would you do that? That's so stupid. Okay, I lost some cap there, but it was worth it because I just destroyed this unit there. Let's uh, get some charges there on the uh, on the other skirmishers. They, they've got some cap too. Uh, we're going to be able to drop the um, war cry ability as well, which would be pretty cool. Don't want to engage too early. Again, I want to get a reasonable engagement for me. There are a lot of skirmishers. Let's get on that. That's, that's pretty cool. That they have so many skirmishers that I can chase. Those are a lot of juicy targets there. Let's try and get a charge. Those guys should be able to get the uh, cavalry charge ability. They're gonna rush in with some cav. Let's cavalry charge. Uh, won't be able to drop the warp right there, which is unfortunate. Not exactly sure why. Oh, Scipio's dead already. What the hell? And I lost a lot of cav in that engagement. Where's my other unit? There it is. All right, let's just keep chasing. Those are just a bunch of archers and some cap. That's pretty much the same as mine. So, yeah, I won't be able to use the work ability, which would have been really useful if I was able to do it. But um, yeah, not gonna be able to do that by the looks of it. Let's see here if we can keep pushing. They're uh, retreating, so they should be getting some losses from that see how I'm doing. Well, there's a guy that's doing better than I am, but so doing pretty all right. I lost about half my units. Actually, more than that. About two-thirds. They're gonna shoot shoot me as well, and uh, my teammates can't really do anything about it, per se. Uh, those guys are holding pretty nicely. Let's get a charge on the archers now. I don't even care. We gotta destroy them, because they're gonna keep inflicting casualties on me, so I just destroy them. My units are getting in a very weird formation now let's actually go back let's let's go back that's not a good engagement for me uh they're gonna shoot us with some stuff so let's go and hide in the forest and actually find a moment when i'm gonna be useful i did a lot of damage uh did my fair share already i think so uh, let's just hide in the forest now and uh we have a bunch of infantry that should be able to overwhelm their infantry so that's cool they're gonna get shot though they're gonna sh get shot really bad Unless they get a really good engagement there. A really fast one, actually. We can destroy those units, uh, although they're being protected really nicely. Uh, by a Spearman unit. It's just one unit, though. And so far, we're actually doing pretty alright in this battle. I can actually engage there. I don't see a reason why not. I have more cav, and they have an archer unit that... It would be actually pretty useful if I did destroy it. They're, they're gonna try and run back. Uh, which is, uh, you know, what I would expect them, expect them to do. So, let's see here. Let's get the cavalry charge on those guys. Uh, destroy them. Oh, let's go back. Never mind. It's not a good engagement for me. But a few more casualties there. Kill a few cavalry men. I hope. I think. Uh, they're gonna engage this unit there, though. But, no, the, the, the cavalry should die. They're just too few in numbers to actually do anything. So, that's, that's fine. Let's uh, try and sneak through here while our infantry is actually engaged there. And if we can get a nice hammer and anvil or just chase off some of their archer units or their weaker units in general, that would be pretty cool. If I can get a nice cavalry charge, which I should be able to use in uh, three seconds. So I should be able to use it. That's cool. Now let's see. I don't think they can, they can see me. I'm not sure though if they can. So, I might be able to cause some havoc on this side. Hopefully, this unit is going to engage there. I really hope so. Yeah, they are going to engage, so that's pretty cool. They have a few cavalrymen, but they're not really going to do much about me charging them. So let's get the charge here. One of those units should chase off their archers, and that's a lot of juicy targets and a lot of kills. This unit's holding off nicely, even though it's uh, rear flanked. I, it would have been great if I could actually use my work by ability, but uh, Scipio's dead, so I can't really do much about it. Those units are routing. A lot of easy kills for me. Just gotta make sure I don't get engaged with the Spearman unit that they have there. But a lot of good kills on this unit here. It's just routing right now, so 
Oh, they're not riding anymore and they turned around, so not a very good engagement for me. Okay, they're gonna pin me down with a cap, and I think that's about all I can do in this battle. They, they rush back and now they're actually defending fairly well. Um, I can save those two units though, and uh, use them. Not that they're gonna do a lot, but hey. Let's just use a cavalry charge just to... Just for the speed, so we can get out of there faster. Okay, that's alright. We can still do stuff. It's fine. Started capturing there. Uh, a little bit, but they still have some presence in their base, so not really gonna be able to do much. I'm really tempted to actually go and charge those archers on the walls. That would be pretty cool if I could do that, because they're actually like our main concern right now, kind of. Because we can overwhelm their infantry pretty easily, but they have a lot of skirmishers. We have a lot of skirmishers too, but uh, oh, I won't be able to use my charge. That's unfortunate, but hey. I already did enough damage, I think, in this battle. Oh, they're not gonna be able to charge there. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, my guys are gonna die there. Alright, didn't expect that, to be honest. Let's get a, another charge here just to route this unit. There you go. That should do it. I'm gonna lose my cavalry units as well, but hey, that's fine. And uh, we should be winning this battle. We have... Yeah, there's no way... I, I just don't see us losing this battle at all. There you go. We were able to do that. I only have a few men left, but hey, I did pretty well in this battle. There you go. There's the victory. That's pretty cool. So we won pretty convincingly on Germania. I actually enjoyed that quite a lot. Still, I think I could have done better, but hey, it, it's it's fine. I was uh, on the top of the scoreboard after all, so that's, that's pretty all right. Yeah, I was at the top of the scoreboard with, like, another guy who had about the same amount of points. I was able to do a lot, killed a lot of skirmishers, uh, killed some infantry too, so that was pretty cool. Um, that's my first victory of the day as well, so I'm getting the bonus, 100% bonus, that's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of experience on those units as well, let's replenish. And, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Again, uh, fairly nice battle, we won, I did pretty well, so, you know, that's all I won from this game, pretty much. Just play a nice battle, where I win, and I do really well, and, yeah. So, I guess that's gonna be it for this, for this one, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.